Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Women Speaking Sports RBA. I'm your QB star, Mallory, and we've got a smaller team this evening, this morning, but it's a great team. So I just want to tell you, you've got Lisa training with us today, as well as Dr. Danny, but we don't have Karen, we don't have Sethi, we don't have Danielle. So who do we have with us, Mass? Who do we have? We have... Oh, Becca is joining us today. She has been with us since the beginning. She does a lot of behind the scenes work, but she's filling in mostly for Carrie because they have one similar denominator in common. And that is Mr. Tom Brady. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, you know how we are. Before we get started, we've got to shout out our sponsors and we've got to thank them openly. We want to thank the Hilton Downtown Richmond. Mike King, Fast Signs, Gary Howard, Four Mortgage, and Crystal Clear Financials. If you don't want to wake up early on Fridays to listen to us on ESPN Richmond on 106.1, then you can listen to us Tuesdays in the afternoon on two, at 2 p.m. on 105.3. Becca, how are you today? I'm great. How's everybody? Good. Thank you for joining us. Lisa, Dr. Dan, you guys aren't new to this. No, but great to have Becca with us tonight. I've been waiting for this moment. Yes, 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 yes. So we're super excited. So let's go ahead and let's talk about something, you know, to make Becca feel super warm and, and invited. Let's talk about QB12, Tom Brady. Lisa, where do you, what, what questions do you want to ask Becca about Mr. TV? Well, no, my, my feeling is I'm not a huge Tom Brady fan. I don't dislike him, but if you're a Tom Brady fan, this means that you see his face for another how many more years? I think 10. Yeah, yeah. Which honestly, I didn't know that until today. Yeah. But I saw it, I think it came out two days ago. Um, that was really exciting because um, I get to just keep watching Tom Brady. <laughs> That's my man. <laughs> well, how, do you, how do you think? How do you think he? Because he has a really good social media presence, and he's good with the press. How do you think he, that's going to translate for him being a commentator? Yeah, honestly, I think he's funny. As I see on TikTok, he's really funny. Um, I don't know. I think he has a great personality. So I think, and he obviously loves football. So I think. It's gonna be a more So he definitely knows what he's talking about. Oh yeah, well yeah. obviously. <laughs> we all know Dr. Danny. Danny. No <laughs> comment. <Yeah. laughs> I think he. I, I said think it he all in my expression. <laughs> so like, unlike Lisa, <laughs> unlike Lisa, <laughs> when she says, "I don't, you know, hate him," I kind of sort of did. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I just think when you're a goat with an asterisk because of all the cheats oh, that you did. Wow. Oh, wow. That's, wow. That's, okay. I mean, I, I want to give it to him. He has more rings. He's done this. He's done it with other teams. So I'm going to say that he's a good football player. But when you got an asterisk, I got a box. Well, as far as like being a commentator play by play, I know it worked out for one of my guys, oh, Troy yeah. Aikman, uh, who's a great um, commentator, you know, and that worked out for that transition. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm it'll excited to see how it plays out, but he's, he's complained it's all along. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He, 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 is, he, is, he yeah. is playing the business right, Dr. Dave. You do have to admit, I will tell you that on the business millions. side of it. Well, I mean, well, I don't think he I needs do. more money. He's doing it because well, he, I think yeah, you know, he, he has a fan base he and he's building his brand. Yeah. And so I think the business aspects of what he's doing is genius. Yeah. Capitalize on where you are. You may only have one more year plan. Yeah. So you've got to be thinking beyond that. And this lines up more with maybe his wife. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's a out front kind of right. Yeah. 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 So I, I think that she is happy with that. So, you know, I'm all for what keeps love alive. Right. I'm just glad we're saying in football. And the fact, because when he actually, when he retired, he was like, I don't know, like, you know, he's gone, 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 he's gone,
I think like he puts a lot of, but that's just when I see him. I just feel like he's super introverted. So I'm excited to see like how he talks. I think, I think they have enough professionals to surround him with right. that he will get the spit shine polish. Yeah. And Absolutely. He'll, 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 and he did that, that show, The Man in the Arena. Yeah. So he did a lot of beautiful stuff. I don't know, he did business shows. Well, you can't I be a goat on it in every. I'm sure. I know it's gonna be fine. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, yes, he just can. might be. He just might be better than you know the brothers. I really yeah. wouldn't go to the Manning yeah. fan when they were doing that. Yeah. 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 that a lot of people like that. that. But I just I like, like yeah. yeah. That, that's that's distracting. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. The Manning fan. I do like old. Troy Aikman and yeah. what's my other dude. Oh, uh, I really like him because he's he's really smart. Chris Collins. No, it's another cowboy quarterback. Oh, um. Oh, Tony Romo. Yeah. Tony Romo yeah. has, to me, yeah, he is. the best QB commentator. When I tell you, he is so smart. Yes, yeah. he is. And I have, you know, there have been times that I got, you know, there have been a couple of Cowboy fans, players that I like, but I really like him as a commentator. He yeah. is so, yeah. so smart. Yeah, he yeah. is very smart. Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't just, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, one of the things that's coming out this week is the schedule for the NFL teams. Lisa, talk to us about the little leak that you heard about. Well, so the leak that I heard about was uh, for the first time in, a, in several years, the Dallas Cowboys returning to Lambeau Field to play the Packers. First time uh, Murphy has been back since he was fired right. from the Packers on November 13th. Just the week that came out today, apparently, uh, all the hotels are already sold out in that area. So it should be interesting, you know, uh, getting into Aaron Rodgers and how he doesn't really have a wide receiver now, um, but he's got all this money. We'll see how that falls in November. So let me drop a little bit about the Packers. Okay. I personally have a fan story. Um, this is small, but you know, it's a fancy time, I guess. Well, you all know the um, draft just finished up and everything. Well, we had an undrafted uh, person in our family that signed with Green Bay, number one, one number 41, Ellis Brooks, uh, formerly of Benedictine, formerly of Penn State. So, yes, we were at the party. The local guy. You always want yes, to get the local guy. So, Ellis is already out there working out and doing all his thing. Green Bay Packers. Yes, Ray. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, like I, I've been around uh -huh. like in high school. I knew some of his friends. Yeah. Well, shout out to what's his name again? Ellis Brooks, Ellis number Brooks. 41. Oh okay. Wow. Great job. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, you know, Dr. Dan, I got to talk to you about this because, you know, Pittsburgh, we've got some great opponents this season as well. We've got the Ravens. <laughs> The so yeah, the Ravens, the Ravens is good. The Browns, the Raiders, the Patriots, the Saints, the Jets, and the Buccaneers. Those are our home opponents. Wow. Which team kind of catches your eye, and, and in which way does it? Probably uh, the Ravens. Mm -hmm. I kind of like their quarterback. Yeah, so I want to see how our quarterback goes mm -hmm. up against yeah. their quarterback. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't know a whole lot about them as a team in general in terms of their coaching and everything and so of course i think that we have hands down the best quarterback in the nfl the I mean, best best coach in the nfl and so i think that his ability to get the most out of his players right regardless of where they were drafted what position whatever i think that um, you know, his ability to maximize the talent mm -hmm. is what I put up against anybody. But I think the history of that rivalry and yeah, all that, that's yeah. yeah, I think that's huge. And that would be a great game. If my husband is listening, I'm looking forward to tickets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on now. I don't have a husband, <laughs> but if anybody wants to take me on a I date, Mike, Mike, if you want to buy us tickets Mike, if you buy us as well, maybe Becca, it's the first time on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would love to get the budget coordinator on this. Um, so our away components 
a few different ones. We have the Atlanta Falcons, the Carolina Panthers, the Colts, the Eagles, the Bills. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these players had young but quarterbacks that were projected last season to just go above and beyond this season. And now with our younger quarterback, I'm excited to see how they play against each other. You know, they have different ways of playing the game, different ways of triangulating their players and how that works on the field. Um, so I think, I think that's a really big. Really big so I think Tomlin's I, working on something. And I, I think this season, even though, it's, like I said, I feel how I feel about Tomlin, just because I think his chemistry. I remember in, um, you know, the NBA and, and you know, the Chicago Bulls, and they had, um, I can't think of his name right now. He's trying to lag it out. But, you know, Phil. He, Phil, um, Phil, Phil. And um, he just had this Zen presence, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, and he connects with his players in a way that that they see themselves as a unit right. and they execute it that way. And I think that Tomlin is that too, but this is going to be the year, in my opinion, across the NFL, where we're going to see offensive coordinators get, you know, either they are what they need to be or they're not. Because I think with a young quarterback, his ability to come in, uh, and command the presence and give leadership. Most people look for the quarterback for leadership. Right, right. And now you have all these seasoned players mm -hmm. and you have so many young buck quarterbacks right. as you refer. I think the offensive coordinator's ability to help drive that chemistry is going to be important. Yeah. And I don't, you know, I, it's Phil Jackson. <laughs> just bother me. I'm sorry. It just no bothered me. Yes. I, I, I always wonder how offensive coordinators really integrate those players. You know, it, I can't. It can't just be running plays on the field. That's all, right. That's right. That's right. You know, it's got. What are we doing off the field? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. To make that chemistry last, mm -hmm. because I mean, if, I may be like, I may, you know, I may be somebody on the offensive line who's like protecting the quarterback, but you know, I may. What if I don't care as much? You know, I'm like, you know, oh, oh like that. That's you know, it, it, you know, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. A teaching a lesson. I right. mean that. You know, sometimes you have a quarterback that comes in with a lot of hubris, and I'm sure we'll get to it, but right. what's going on with Baker Mayfield and all the yeah, right, yeah. I mean, you hear all these hundreds. So you have to be mindful that, you know, you can't be too humble or they think you're just a pushover. You can't be too arrogant or they they let people through the line. Right. Knock your right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back to being quiet. <laughs> but yeah, no, but I, just, right, I think right. that that, you know, and so you think about it, there's talent all throughout the league. Any sport, if you look at it as a professional sport in the United States of America, you know that they have talent. Mm -hmm. And so what do you do differently that your talent outperforms other talent? And there has to be something that transpires off of the field where you build relationship, right. you get in sync with each other, and you know the magic happens and so i'm looking for it's not post COVID, but most people have been able to have regular seasons regular practice they'll have the off season to you know pull everything together in a different way than they did in the past two years right. so yeah. i want to see it all on the field this year yeah and it's, it's exciting because the nfl a couple weeks ago just said that they are lifting all COVID restrictions so fans are allowed back on the field before a game. Um, you know, we have those opportunities to go back to the locker room. Like, if you, if you have this, you know, this is your chance. Make no, these reservations to take the bag. This is your chance. This is your chance. I mean, how do you think you would react if you actually got a chance? I don't know. I, you know, I said that today. I'm like, if I actually, like, you do freeze. Love her. No, I, I do. Yes. Oh, I like, if I actually like have a chance to talk to him, I don't even know like if I want to say anything. Yeah, okay. I'd be a little nervous. A lot of nervous. Mm -hmm. At first, but you know, I would have to get out. Yeah. Just, uh, 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 give me a minute. I'm just like, Talk about the NBA playoffs. Or something. Oh yeah, let's okay. yeah. there. Talk let's about it, Dr. Danny. Where you well, go? you know, you all know that I don't have a team. I have right. a dog in the hunt, You're and I've been trying to find it. Yes, and I love and You know, Joel. I, when he got hurt, he was out. I was not feeling good about it. It's probably because he wears a number twenty-one. That's why he caught my eye. Mm. So if you don't know, our family member is twenty-one. All my kids wore twenty-one. Kayla wears twenty-one. I wore twenty-one in right through high school, and along with my husband. So. The 21s kind of get yeah, yeah, that's okay. But 
um, they had a horrible loss um, and he was in the game. And so it was interesting because some of the dialogue today was about him, you know, how much of this loss is his fault. And I'm trying to figure out this dude has gone through a broken face. Then he got hit again. Hit again. Hit. He, just, he just can't yeah, say. Yeah. Not. yeah. I think I think the players are doing things dirty. And the part of the NBA that really is bothering me this week is the official um CP3 got fouled out. Of a game, I mean that whole game was poorly officiated, and the, the the entire Suns team was in foul trouble. It seemed like from second quarter, and that changes the complexion of the game. This is um, the NBA, right. and so it was just so one sided. And it's getting to where you're looking at. You said this is home cooking, and now the commentators are are talking about it in the other games where you know CB3 came down, he was dribbling the ball, right? We teach our people cut your cut your defender off. Right. Go in front of them. Right. right. So now they're calling that a foul if you cut in front and they come over your back. Yeah. It used to be a foul on them. Yeah. Now yeah. it's an yeah. offensive yeah. foul. Right. Right. So I think you know these things are affecting the outcome, mm -hmm. and I just don't know that it's all an accident. It's yeah. bothering me. It's a bothering bit. me. I, yeah, I can understand. I can understand. I mean, if when you get closer towards the end of something, it's like you want it so bad that you'll just. Do whatever you need to get, do to get your ball and the hoop on your side. Yeah, and these injuries are really playing an important role. Oh, yeah. Because that's like John Morant is out again with a bone bruise. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> love John Morant. Yeah, I do too. And it's, it's unfortunate because I think Grizzly fans really expect him to, you know, carry the team. Mm -hmm. um, but they need – other players to step up. This, I think well, he's this is not that year because no. yeah. they needed his 40 plus. Yeah. I mean, I, it's going to affect, you know, where he was. He was leading yep. the entire league in yep. like, points and assists postseason. Um, but also, you have, um, but Jason is doing pretty good for the Celtics. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's talk you about that because, because plateau. Well, they, see, they, they, they're, they're tied. They're tied. tied. They're tied. Yeah. Um, I, I really like Giannis, the Greek freak. But, um, I mean, the Celtics, you can't deny that. And tonight, you know, they do have home court advantage, which is huge in Boston. So we'll see. You know what? I'm still pulling for Golden State to win. That's what I said last Well, I week. think they will. They're up I think they will. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Though? So, but you're talking about winning the whole thing. You're talking yeah. about. Oh, no, I'm just yourself. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's be clear. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're talking about the whole thing? The whole thing. Oh, OK. We, we called it. We called it last week. Did we? Did we? Did we? Yeah, I, I think he couldn't decide because you said I don't I have a team. I, I don't have, have a team. So I just like players. Yeah. Can I and can the We can run the can, can, can we go 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 I can't pick. I like Doc Rivers though. I absolutely, yeah. but the Sixers are they're gonna be done. Yeah, they are. I mean, I just don't, you know. I believe in miracles. Let's right, of course. But the, I don't think that was that. Let's unless we have a Tom Brady like moment and they figure out how to pull it out of the but staying pull healthy, a rabbit out of a hat. You know, right. and we were talking about fouls and, and but staying healthy is really key in these three yeah. months too. Yeah, so. but you've got to call things. I mean, I, I know that basketball is physical, but when I tell you it's getting too physical, people are getting mm -hmm. hit. Yeah. And what's happening is that the person who actually does this is getting called for the foul, but right. they're not calling the foul when you're arm checking them, locking mm -hmm. your arms in there. And right. they, yeah. there's a lot of content for them where you're holding right. people. And then exactly. when you have an outburst and you, you know, mm -hmm. they're calling that foul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of them are pretty bad. I mean, the no, they are. And pretty pretty you wonder why haven't you just why haven't you called it? Yeah. Yeah. So just what are they saying? We're not saying the same thing. So. And um, what is that? I think of his name. The guy who had like a he's been playing forever. He's thirty something, and he hit like twenty seven points. Yeah. Like that was his career high. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hor Horford or Her Herford? Oh, Horford. 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 That's his name. How? Ow. Ow. All I know is <laughs> let's hear from the older guys that's on the court. Oh, yeah. He was doing the day thing. Yeah. He was shoot. I mean, he's like a 
well, you would call him a power forward, but in the old days, you'd call him a center. And yeah. he was shooting the three like he was like a nothing. shooting guard. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. he was killing it. Shoot too. That's yes, funny. he was killing it. So. I need a guy to shoot me his number. Oh, oh. oh. excuse me. Which one was going to get into that quickly? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're just you know all NFL NBA teams like you know open to work. Tom Brady, like I said, Tom Brady, not Tom Brady's personal assistant. <laughs> so, so I actually like him. Gronkowski. I do. Too. I do. I'm still waiting on like his uh, decision here. I'm Who not. I'm not that? commenting on that. Why not, Lisa? Frat boy? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but look, he's been in a frat house for so how long? That's yes, that's how. He does. He does like to. I just. I. I, I guess I'm just old. Everybody. I'm just old. I just look old. at that as being like. Okay, we're not gonna claim that. We're. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. I'm super excited. Oh, uh, the TV is talking about the NFL schedule being revealed tomorrow. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Ooh. Everybody's gonna be refreshing their phones, refreshing mm -hmm. their computer, and then we're schedule. Schedule. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go on the ticket, ticketmaster.com or something. Yeah. And well, Dr. Danny's in. husband needs to. He, 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 he needs, needs to, to really be watching that. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Because yeah. I want to see that Ravens game. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be a alarm. good game. i got to tell you, Dr. Danny, because the Ravens, if, if Lamar Jackson is healthy and I like Harbaugh, he's a good leader for mm -hmm. that team, that's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. So. Yeah. I guess we'll just go together, Dr. Danny. Let's do that. We, girls trip. Oh, trip. my gosh. That would be fun. Mike, what? put that on the books. Mike, get us, make sure you get us a, get a sponsor memo for that. <laughs> let, me, let me touch my assistant. Yeah. Put it on the book. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I don't know I don't if you need like a new assistant or not. I've never seen that woman in my life. Uh, <laughs> and that's what his story is, Donna, yeah. and he's sticking yeah. to it. Yeah. So Lisa, what's going on with baseball this week? Oh, well, again, I know, it, I know it sounds like a, a worn broken out record. story. Yeah, broken record. But again, New York, New York, um, New York. American League, National League, both in the top, the top spots go to New York teams. Of course, the overall team, uh -oh. my Yankees with 21 and eight. And last night, Judge hit a walk off home run to win it. Um, I think this is first walk off home run with the Yankees. Oh, I'm not okay. sure. Um, so big but yeah, so and transitioning into talks about his contract, I read today. Now, you know, the New York Post is a little colorful. You colorful. That's colorful. Great colorful. Great yes, yes. Great vocab, girl. But they came out and said that, you know, um, what Judge was really upset over in all of this is that Cashman in the front office released the numbers and specifics of the contract negotiations. And Cashman said, we had no idea that he was upset over this, blah, blah, blah. So I think what's gonna happen, and I'm hoping what's gonna happen is that he will remain healthy because it's the, it's the beginning of the season, let's be honest. It's not even June, you know, hopefully we're going into October. Right. And that somewhere along the lines, they can kind of, I know we said that they're not going to negotiate during the season, but I'm, I think the new, because let's face it, the Mets, the Mets will swoop them up in a heartbeat because their owner doesn't care about the luxury tax. The Steinbrenners have to get on the, on the ball and, and get with the program. This guy is a good player. Plus he has a huge fan base with New York Yankees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he I mean, went with the Mets, I think that I think the Yankee and the Yankee fans can be brutal and turn on the dime. They would be really upset with the front office, and I think it would be so. Yeah, but what are they going to do? I mean, when you really again, we talked about this a little bit in terms of the um, just the economics of the Yankees environment as yeah. well as the fan, and so they are looking to make the Delta a Yankee back up front office is going to say we could pay him a little less than anyone else would pay. Mm -hmm. he wants to say with us because we're the Yankees. Right, right. I mean, they see themselves as the celebrity, yeah. the athlete. Right, the, right. I mean, they have an organization. I mean, nobody is nowhere near close to how many World Series they want. I'm still amazed at and the, the fact, revenue that they bring. And the, right. Whether and the everything. top revenue or yeah. the, the, the most yeah. ever, like the closest person to, the, person to them, uh, closest team to them is still like less than half of their wins, 27 World Series. And so when you look at that and you look at the franchise 
um, revenue. Yep. You look at the value. I mean, they see themselves as the gorilla in the room mm -hmm. that says, okay, you want to be with us. We know you want to be with us. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it just depends on whether or not judge wants to say, yeah, you might be, but I I can go over here and still be great. Right. Right. But you won't have a Yankee one. Yeah. Yeah. And it's I about the brand. And, you know, it's, it's, it's about the brand. brand. And I think, too, what was what, and I'm not defending the front office because I, I don't necessarily agree with it, but his contract um, was he wanted 10 years. And I think that the front, the front office wanted seven, looking mm -hmm. at, you know, um, will he have this longevity for 10 years? But again, I mentioned this before, they did the same thing to Derek Jeter in the final three years of his. Um, life there at the Yankees and um, it just put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths you know because I mean Derek Jeter you're gonna you know not negotiate with Derek Jeter right. even what he wants yeah it's crazy so I'm hoping that that they do come to terms before the end of the season but we do have a long we do have a long road ahead yeah. it's just the beginning but everybody's yeah. playing their heart out yeah we, we love to see it yep we love to see it. All right, y'all. Well, we'll be right back with ladies and gentlemen on Women Speaking Sports RBA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Women Speaking Sports RBA. We're going to go ahead and continue the conversation. But before we do, we're going to go ahead and shout out our sponsors. The Hilton, Mike King, Fast Signs, Jerry Howard, Core Mortgage, and Crystal Clear Financials. You all can check us out on ESPN Richmond Fridays at 6 a.m. on 106.1 FM. And The Choice Tuesdays at 2 p.m. on 105.3 FM. If you don't catch us on the radio and you want to see what we're doing outside of the radio, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Women Speaking Sports RVA. We'll take a little bit of time to just kind of shout out some of our businesses as well as our own. Dr. Danny, I'll start with you. Who do you want to give a shout out to? Well, let me just say this. First, I am going to give a, shout, give a shout out to the Women's Business Center of Richmond because we have just wrapped up our conference a week ago and there were some phenomenal businesses that were there. Um, I want to particularly shine the light on um, Impulse by Mary Kirkland. Um, she has some very unique pieces that you know are designed to delight you as well as to make you look good whether it is clothing whether it's glasses a purse jewelry you know she just has some pieces that you don't find usually mm -hmm. right and so shout out to mary kirkland with impulse i also want to give a shout out to sonar bioscience um jack donaldson um is the ceo um, Sonar is doing some very innovative research um, using molecule, well, a molecule that they developed that helps to reduce the toxicity of, of drugs in people's systems. And so today we had a phenomenal call with the SBA, call not block, shout out to the SBA, um, and talking about um, the innovative research, the um, manufacturing, trying to look at bringing that to Virginia, as well as exportability. So I just wow, wanted to know, wow, that's awesome. That's really yes. cool. that's phenomenal. Science moves very, very fast. Yes. And, and, I, and I love that. I love that. Lisa? So I would like to shout out um, the estate at River Run. I'm going to brand ambassador for them. It's a, it's a venue out in Maidens, Virginia, which is in Goochland. They not only do weddings, but they do events, and it is a beautiful 22,000 square foot mansion um, that is just to die for. Um, they're doing a wedding event this Sunday, so if you want to, if you're a bride to be and you want to come out and uh, get a look at some vendors and see the uh, venue themselves, I will also be out there. I'll be out there hosting, and then I'd also like to. Uh, Give a shout out to me. I feel like Snoop Dogg. Like I, I would like to thank me. So I'm actually rebranding my small uh, boutique marketing company, and the new name is going to be L Trani E L L E. 
Oh. And um, I'm starting that to really push that out in a couple She's weeks. Shawnee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super excited for you, Lisa. You should talk about you go first. I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to the Furbish Collectives. Um, they are a company that takes furniture and refurbishes it for your needs, your home, your business. It's a one woman ran business. And I tell you, this woman is phenomenal. And I'm not biased because she's my mom, but she is. Uh, it's it's absolutely awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So check her out, the Furbish Collectives, on Instagram and Facebook for all your furniture needs. I love that. All your furniture needs. Yes. So right now the store is online. Uh, you know we're moving into the new age, and um, so I mean if you wanna, you're more than welcome to reach out to her online and DM her. You know she's hit. She's got me as her daughter. She's, she's hit. hit. Oh, yeah. She's hit. She is, well, we've met her and she is. Yeah, so she's she's speaking she's the truth. What's the her birthday is also tomorrow. Hey. Hey. Yes. Happy, Happy birthday, Lala. Happy birthday. Woo um, and so what's yeah. the website? Refurbishcollectives.com. Okay. You can Wait. also find Refurbished Collectives on Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. She's got some of her um, furniture out there that she's refurbished. And honestly, it's 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 kind of it's it's they're beautiful they're beautiful pieces they really are i, I have some more now yeah yeah let let her know let her know please so she can bring more stuff home that was a joke but not really but yes <laughs> she, she has kids who needs things it's like, mike says. It's like mike says i need fun with grandkids stuff right <laughs> well we're gonna go ahead and take you this moment Becca said she doesn't. Shout out VCU Health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out VCU Health. <laughs> uh, shout out Mike for letting me be on the show. Okay. Love that for her. <laughs> Becca is still here, y'all. Becca is someone who's been with us since the beginning. She does a lot of behind the scenes work. But it's about time that she gets some recognition and all y'all get to meet her. She's, she's absolutely one of awesome. us. And she's she one of us. Well, we're going to go ahead and take this opportunity to shine a light on something that needs to be shined on every single week. Um, Dr. Danny is going to go ahead and lead the conversation on this one. Yeah, I just think that we need to do what we can to elevate the awareness and set the priority about Brittany Griner and people like her who are behind foreign lines um, in her situation. It's been like 90 days. It's yeah. been over three Could months. Could you go ahead and like explain the situation for people so, from beginning to end, spark note style about what, what what's going on? Okay, so in the United States, um, you know, we try to have women's sports that match up with men's sports. However, the WNBA only has 12 teams, um, about 150 players. And most of them make significantly less than $250,000 a year. Most of the players who are extremely talented, and I say most, they go outside of this country to earn a real living right. on the par with some of their male counterparts, still not really touching it. So Brittany Griner makes five years worth of an income going to Russia and playing basketball. She makes about 1.2, 1.3 million for going over there in her off season. Mm -hmm. While she was there, um, you know, I don't know if it was happenstance or whatever, they found her to have some hashish oil, I guess, or yes. cannabis oil. Um, you know, I guess people use that for vaping or whatever. And, um, and they arrested her and they have detained her and she's been wrongfully detained, um, according to our government. But I think that was a change in status, but I haven't seen a change in activity. Um, I just can't help but believe, I mean, we've had college players to get into controversial situations outside the country. And it was executed quicker than this, and they got them back home. We need a Bring Britney Home campaign. We need our politicians. Um, our sports teams, the season is getting ready to open up right. yeah. and she's still detained. I saw in the news that her wife uh, recently completed her J JD. So she's a lawyer now. I guess she got to take the bar. But, um, you know, she's missing life, not just missing money or whatever. 
and she and then her country she's the country that she has been on the olympic team i mean she's represented this country well right so we need to do what it takes to get her home and not be hush mouth about it you know i see espn every day i see you know there are games that are going on and and people aren't talking about it so i just think that at least on our show it needs to be a staple that we give a Britney update every week Absolutely. so that we, until she comes home. Yes, I love that. I did see just a little blip this week where um, in preparation for the new season that her home court had put her number in um, like BG on the center court. But like I was watching it with my husband, I'm like, I mean, what does that do? I need to see, I need to see more. I need to see, I need to see ESPN doing on Sports Center at least like we're doing a 30 second update on what, right. what the status is. Because you're exactly right. When there was college players that were guilty of actually stealing things, they came home. They weren't detained for yeah. 75 yeah. days or whatever. It's Not to mention sexual assault. Yes. If we're, if we're, if we're being we're real, be, if exactly. we're going to be real here, I mean, I know. For you know, there are probably numerous players out there, and I mean, the back challenge were underway, right. they were doing what they needed to do, right. and all of a sudden it got squashed and they came home. Right? I understand there's controversy, I know that this is very sensitive with Russia, but the truth of the matter is, you got to draw a line somewhere. And right. I'm not advocating war over Britney, but I'm just saying, if we are going to stand up for anyone that you know the best brand ambassadors that we have for our country are our athletes. I'm not saying that right. businessmen no, aren't right. great. No, I'm not saying right. Right. we develop some great things, but if you think about it, the recognizable Americans all across this globe tend to be athletes. Well, they get more exposure than anybody. Think right. about it. And, and they're, for, so, they're so diverse in their field. They're right. athletes right. on the field. They're out in the community. That's right. They are representing brands, big brands like Nike, Adidas, and so forth. And so to me, those sponsors that support her ought to speak up. Right. Absolutely. You know, I heard, to, I was watching today on C SPAN where, um, you know, the oil people who are making billions in profits, not just billions in revenue, but $22 billion, you know, Shell and BP. And BP had a huge operation in. Russia, mm -hmm. and they were being asked, when are you going to completely, ex you know, withdraw? And so they meant, oh, well, then 15 days, of blah, 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 we announced that we're going to move our operations out of there, but you still aren't out of there. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out, so we're putting pressure on, you know, our companies to do the right thing. Well, then we need to do the right thing about Britain. Absolutely. And I think, I mean, it's, it's way more than trying to be pretty. And what I mean by being pretty is just like, you know, wearing a number. Well, like, what are you doing? Right, like, right. What, are, what are you doing instead of just what that people on the outside are doing? Like, there's change happens within. Change takes a, a while to happen. I know it's like every change is like a slight tick. But I feel like so many athletes and sponsors need to be behind us. And they're just not. Well, it is a political thing. Why and the platforms they have are way too big for them well, Exactly. And, and I'm going to add this. Why is it out of the realm of possibility that the White House doesn't stand? Child. She's an American citizen. Let me well, DM Joe. Let me call Cam. Let me DM Joe. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You talk to Cam, and I'll talk to Joe. Okay. Because, because this right here? Yeah, something, something has to. Because the other thing is, um, you know, I haven't gotten the update that her advocates on the American side have had an opportunity to actually assess her physical well-being. Right, right. And we know how people tend to be there for a year when they come out and their health is just it's so not good. deteriorated. It's exactly. Not good. And so what what kind of environment, what kind of diet is she being afforded? All of those things about if the very least somebody should go in and be able to see her and report out that right. they Absolutely. assessed her medical well-being. Right. Right. It's just a very sad situation. Um, do you have, um, I would just encourage everyone listening to constantly stay updated on the situation and not be afraid to speak out about it. Uh, let's make everyone aware of the situation so we can bring Brittany home. That's right. Yeah. We'll do our part. 
We'll do that. Every week, it's just to bring awareness. Absolutely. And that's a promise. Right. That's, that's a promise. Well, let's go ahead and talk about an animal with four legs running around the track. The Kentucky, Kentucky Derby. Gosh, this beautiful dog and beautiful dog. And Lisa, take it away. Okay, so if anybody was watching on Saturday, the Kentucky Derby, uh, an 80 to 1 long shot won the whole thing. And if you had the opportunity, I encourage you, if you haven't seen the aerial footage of the win, it is phenomenal. Yes. It is really something else. So to me, I love the underdog, but this is like beyond that. Right, right. An 80 to one. I want to see the person who had picked up. I know, well, right? Too, right? I mean, put, put a There's decent amount of money. I want to see that. that. Right. I uh, was 80 to 1. So you figure. So put a thousand dollars in and you got 80 to 1. Yeah, yeah. Woo. I know. Yes. Right? I'm going to start betting. Yeah. And I think yeah. the minimum yeah. bet at least to be right sure. Yeah. Be the minimum and bet is $5. So. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and give me a hat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Dr. Davis, she knows the place. Perfect. Oh yeah, we need to do that. And you know, the no, I know, is I, I know people who design. Yes. Oh, excuse yes, us. Oh. yes. Because I'm not a hat person. Oh, okay. even though you know I'm a church lady sometimes. Yeah, but, but you're not I'm a church lady. lady. I'm, I'm not the church lady. But yeah, because that's a big responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. But not because I wasn't and I wanted to participate yeah. in this event. There's a lady in Austin, Texas, who said, I'll design something that you would like. And she would do that. So, you know, so you, you have a church hat on standby. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's more your piece. Uh -huh. It's a fascinator. Yeah, yeah. It's a fascinator. Yeah. 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 Look, we'll do this next year. We'll have a little Kentucky oh, Derby yeah. party, oh, and I can bring oh, the bourbon from Hilltop Distillery. Oh. It's bourbon in the country. Oh, <laughs> oh <okay. laughs> excuse us. <laughs> I, I need to do that. I need to bring this in and get the okay from the Hilton. Girl. <laughs> ABC Laws. Yeah. All right, ladies. Well, to wrap up the show, we're going to go ahead and have some sports trivia. I've got some questions here, just some random questions about all sports. Okay. And you guys just give me your best guys. Becca, no cheating. Yeah. Cheating over here. Oh, no, she, she got extra eyes. She got extra eyes for cheating over here. Lord, <laughs> All right. So the first question is: How many dimples does an average golf ball have? Seven sixty. Okay, Lisa. Uh, five sixty. <laughs> I should have known this because I actually looked it up. Did you really? Some time ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you forgot. But I forgot. Yeah. Bex, what's your answer? The answer is 336. Oh. 336. 336. So that was funny. I'm so sorry. Uh oh. Okay, well, let's give her Miss Tom Brady Jr. I know. Right. <laughs> I'm just talking about That's it. Oh, but you didn't talk about the golf thing that we're doing here today. Oh, yeah. Speaking of demos. Speaking of golf, uh, Women Speaking Sports has sponsored a golf poll at the Dale Green Celebrity Golf Tournament happening May 23rd. All the proceeds go to uh, Richmond Kids, um, and we are excited to sponsor that event to give back to our community firsthand. It is our first outreach um, as a team. And we will be there in person. person. And we will be there in person. So and if you so want to come meet us, oh, you're great. Right. 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 Magnolia Green, right? Yeah. No, Magnolia Green. Magnolia Green. Yeah. So if you guys, we will be wearing uh, pink, purple, and white. You can't miss us because we'll be wearing it. If you would like to come take pictures with us, get our autographs. <laughs> <laughs> We will be there. <laughs> We're accepting gifts. We have no rules. You know, when I worked in corporate America, we had these rules. It couldn't be this much. It couldn't be this big. We have no rules. We have, we have no rules. All gifts. Please, please come in. It's going to be very, very fun. We're, we're excited to get back to the community and see the smile on people's faces. That's that's really why we're doing it. So great inference. All right, who won? Who has won more tennis Grand Slam titles, Venus or Serena? Serena. 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 Okay, Serena. Okay, way to go. <laughs> and then she asked the hardest question in the world. No, my dimples. It's like, 
right, all right, Becca, this one's for you. This one's easy. Becca, this one's for you. What does NBA stand for? <laughs> yeah, just had to check her out, but she did a little bit of shade over there. Yeah. Just a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In what game is love a score? Tennis. Oh, wow. Wow, they are very <laughs> Yeah, they are very fast over here. In football, how many points does a touchdown hold? Six. Oh, wow. This, over here, <laughs> this team over here, Dr. Danny and Lisa, honey, they are, they are, they are. How many players are on a baseball team? 46. Oh, you talking about like on the field? On the field. Oh, on the field. 13? 11 or 10. She'll be Seven. No. The answer is nine. 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 Yeah, nine. you got the picture in the back. Oh, three right. bases and four out. Three out. Three out. Three out? Yeah. Four infielders. Yeah. Four infielders. Oh, three. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Plus the picture. Matt, that's your place. So it's just nine. <laughs> and just nine. Oh, just nine. All that action for nine players on the table. All that money. Oh, well, all that money. All that <laughs> You know that. Ever. <laughs> I'm no, gonna tell Carrie on you when she gets back. But I'm not lying, though. But I'm not lying. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, okay. She bringing the heat tonight. <laughs> Come on, I like this. Okay, okay, okay. What color is the goalpost and football? Yellow. Okay. You guys are so funny. Over here. They like they have like they have all these amazing. Um, what country has competed in the most times in the Summer Olympics yet hasn't won a gold medal? Is it like it's one of those Caribbean countries? <laughs> like Jamaica or something? Like that. Yes. Jamaica. In the Summer Olympics? The Summer Olympics. I'm going to say Switzerland. No. Okay. Dr. Danny? Well, I don't know. It's the Philippines. Really? Oh, that's sad. That's sad. <laughs> same two same, same two minutes. <laughs> okay, how many how many the last question, last question. How many medals did China win at the Beijing Olympics? The more, more than anybody else. Yeah, period. Because you know, I mean, that, was home, that was home cooking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, the answer is actually a hundred. One hundred even. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I know that next time. Yeah. It's just some fun facts to keep I in your back pocket to get you kind of weak. It keeps it yeah. light. Yeah. 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 We'll do fun facts every week. You, you heard it here first. We got a new segment here. We're going to speak to you. All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Women Speaking Sports RBA. Like I said, We've got a small group, but we've still got a fantastic one. Thank you, Becca, for thank sitting in with us. Yes. So much fun. We want to thank our sponsors, the Hilton, King, Mike King, Fast Signs, Jerry Howard, Or Mortgage, and Crystal Clear Financials. Catch us on ESP, ESP in Richmond and The Choice. And if you don't find us there, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Women Speaking Sports RBA. Follow, we'll follow us. Follow us. Please follow, follow us. us. <laughs> Sponsor us. Sponsor us. You know, we're a great group of ladies. I mean, if you can't tell from the mic, imagine us in person. Oh. And we're beautiful. And on that note, we'll see you next week. <laughs>